Welcome to another unit in this course on economics. This time I'm going to talk about the so-called golden rule capital stock, which is the capital stock which in the context of the neoclassical growth model maximizes consumption per capita. So it's the situation, the capital stock, which leads to the households being able to consume the maximum quantity. For this, we're going to basically ask a question under which condition does the capital, uh, the per capita consumption, which here is the small c, maximize? And we can write the small c, the per capita consumption, simply as the difference between the per capita income, the small y, and the per capita savings the s times y. And if we have established this, then we can also recall the per capita steady state capital stock from the neoclassical growth model, which here reads as y, so per capita income, being equal to, uh, to per capita capital stock to the power of better, which can be reformulated as y being equal to delta, so the depreciation rate divided by the savings rate, times the capital stock, k. If we use this formula in the context of our per capita consumption function up here, we will get this, which in the second part will be shorted to delta. And in this context, please recall I'm only using this in the second part, only for the savings. Because if I have now this equation, what I'm going to do is calculate the first derivative of the per capita consumption for the capital stock. So if I do this, set it equal to zero, I will get the so-called golden rule. The golden rule here is capi uh, per capita consumption derived for k gives per capita GDP, per capita income derived for k minus delta, minus the depreciation rate. If I set this equal to zero, I have this part of the equation and I can simply bring the delta to the right side, giving me this golden rule condition and the capital stock which fulfills this condition is the capital stock we refer to as the golden rule capital stock. However, this has one downside, while here it's interpreted as how much does the income or the GDP per capita change if the capital stock per capita is increased by one unit. However, if we were to use this formula, this um, definition of the steady state GDP per capita, as well in the first term, what we will get as a result is a simple result as the savings rate would need to be one, which actually would be really strange because this would mean we would maximize consumption if everything is saved. However, that's usually not part of the discussion and this first part, this first condition is what is in the literature at least referred to as the golden rule condition with the capital stock which actually leads to this condition is referred to as the golden rule capital stock. Well, that's then everything there is on the topic of the golden rule capital stock. So I hope you enjoyed this short session. I say goodbye and see you next time.